So let's try example 14.12. All right. So finding equilibrium concentrations from initial concentrations in cases with a small equilibrium constant. That's the title of this problem. And of course, what do we have to do? Consider the reaction for the decomposition of hydrogen disulfide. So that's a very small number, right? Yeah. Well, we're still considering the reaction. <laughs> What's that? I'm considering it. Just consider. That's, that's a personal preference, how you consider. I'm not going to tell you how to consider it. We're, we're an inclusive environment here. All considerations are welcome. All right. So now, K sub C, 1.67 times 10 to the negative 7. Is that a big number or a small number? Small. small. So we might be able to use the X's small approximation again. Okay, so let's set up this problem and see what we're solving for. <coughs> All right, so we've got a uh, 0.5 liter reaction vessel initially at con initially contains 0.0125 moles of H2S at 800 degrees Celsius. Find the equilibrium concentrations of hydrogen and S2. All right, so what are we going to have to set up? Ice table. All right, so let's uh, write down our equation 2H2S. It's an equilibrium with hydrogen and S2. Then we write our ice table, I, C, E. What do we got? So our, what's our initial concentration of H2S? 0. 0. Zero point, what's that? 0. 0.125? 0. 0.0125? Oh, what? See, what's the initial what? Initial concentration, right? What did Tro give us? He gave us the initial moles and the volume. He's gonna make us calculate the molarity. That, that tricky dog. All right. So yeah, these are always the concentrations. So that's what we definitely need to do. Okay. So this one's not bad, but you do have to be aware of that. So it's 0.0125 moles divided by 0 0.500 liters. 0.025. Alright, so that's my initial concentration. Zero. Zero point zero two five zero. Alright. Good catch. All right, what else we got? Uh, da, da, da. That's it. All right, but it's enough. Okay. Um, we're going to fill out the rest of this table. Not a lot, but of course we can uh, think about what our initial concentrations of our tr products would be. What would they be? Hydrogen and S2. Zero. Zero. Nothing's happened yet, so we haven't made any products. Okay. What's going to happen to the concentration of H2S? Is it going to go up or going to go down once it starts reacting? Yeah. Going to go down. What about hydrogen and S2? Oh. Up. How much is H2S going to go down by? 2x. Good. So we don't know, but we have K, so we can put our X in there. And the coefficient tells us for every one mole of S2 or something, we need two moles of the H2S. So just use the coefficients. How much is H2 going to go up by? 2X. What about S2? Just X. 
Good. All right, so 0 0.025 minus 2x, 0 0.025 minus x, 2x. What's 0 plus 2x? Plus, not minus, plus. 2x, all right, you got it. 0 plus x? All right, so we got our equilibrium line. Now we need to come up with our equilibrium expression, our equilibrium constant expression. So K is going to equal what? Our products over reactants. So H2S, H2, S2. What did I? Squared? What's squared? H2, good. And then all over H2S squared. So we're just going to take that equilibrium line and plug that in. Hydrogen is 2x. So that's going to be 2x squared times x all over 0 0.0250 minus 2x squared. Yep, yeah, from the coefficients. Always raise them to their coefficients. So, Professor, um, in this one, do we cancel out any one of x because the k is small? Yep, that's what we're going to be able to do. So, we're going to be able to do because that k subsides 1.67 times, times 10 to the negative seventh. It's so small, we will be able to cancel out that minus x. Okay? Because subtracting a really, really small number from a much bigger number isn't going to make a big deal. Again, even though it's 2x, instead of taking $10 from Bill Gates, you're taking $20 from Bill Gates. Even two, it's 20 squared, whatever that is, he's still not going to care. He's a nice guy. I mean, like, don't take it out of his pocket. I mean, but, like, if he drops it, he, you know, I think it's fair game. No, he probably still offer it to him, but he probably like, keep it. That's, that's how I envision our encounter would go. Okay. All right, so we're going to be able to do that. X, 2X, X is small. Which is good because that 2X squared times X, what's that going to be? That's going to be 4X cubed. Then you have a cube and a square. And I'm not going to lie, I do not have to know... Do not have to know how to do that on paper, okay? Solve for uh, a cube, a cubic. I know there's a cubic equation, like the quadratic formula. There's a cubic formula, but it's a beast. I don't even know it. You'd have to Google it, all right? And so that will make our algebra a lot easier. So we got 4x cubed all over 0 0.0250 squared. All right, and let's take this up here. So now I got k equals, this is going to save us so much uh, work, I think I can fit this on this slide. I don't know. We'll try. 4x cubed all over point, point oh two five zero squared. All right, so what's point oh two five zero squared? Six point two five times ten to the negative three? Four. We'll multiply that by K. So that's gonna equal four X cubed. Then divide both sides by four. Take the cube root. So suddenly I've got X equals the cube root of 6.25 times 10 to the negative fourth times k all over 4. And now I'm wishing I had a new slide. This is going to get tight. But it's almost the end of lecture. We don't have time for that. Okay, we don't have time for a new slide. we got to squeeze this in.
Okay, so I got x equals the cube root of 6.25 times 10 to the negative 4. There's no way I can do this. You just wrote that. I know, but now I've got to write k. Oh. Times 1.67 times 10 to the negative 7. No, that's just illegal. <laughs> All right, so what do I got to do? Let's get this out of here. X equals cube root times 6.25 times 10 to the negative fourth times 1.67 times 10 to the negative seven. That's better, still not my best. But you got it. I know that's small, so I can zoom in. I got you. I'm not going to be able to write the answer, though. I just thought of that. Probably shouldn't have zoomed in. You saw how much trouble I was, got into when I was trying to get out of the zoom in. I nailed that, though. Two one nine nine times ten to negative four? Nine six? Nine seven? I want that erase. There we go. Two point nine seven. All right, so that's my X. So that is my concentration of S2. And then it's also looking for my concentration of H2, and that would just be twice that. Okay? So my concentration of S2 is that, 2.97 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. And my concentration of H2 is double that, so what's that? Uh, 5.9 Nine four, thank you. Five point nine four times ten to the negative fourth molar. Yeah. 